A new realm of Dot lies before us. One that leads to the Empyrean. The path to the Empyrean. It has also been called the Temple of Eternity. Long before the first human being, the entity who oversaw this world created a bridge to the throne. However, Bethel Headquarters has hidden the keys to access it, and so the path remains closed. There are three keys in total. It used to be that Bethel guarded them for safekeeping, but now the branches that possess them think only of their own gain. So the first thing we need to do is get those keys ourselves. Perhaps a protofiend could detect the energy of divine instruments such as these. I am indeed picking up sources of incredible power. Three in total. Not to mention hordes of demons around them. I say we'd better hurry up and find them. I'm sure you can guess how many Nahobino aspirants are after the keys themselves. So keep an eye out. That demon, let's be off then. Oh, that demon. Hey, it's you! <laughs> hey, well, Flex. Oh. Seriously. Hey, I thought we, I thought it was time to read. Thanks for helping me out back then. Gosh, I don't know what I'd do without you. But whatever. I see you've got a different girl with you this time. What's up with that? As if a goddess like her could ever replace me. <laughs> Come on, you know I'm all you really need. Seriously. Look, if you just love me, you can just say that. Because you and I, we're... There it is. <laughs> Never mind, forget it. <sighs> Anyways, count me in. Someone's gotta keep you out of trouble, right? <laughs> totally. I will probably level up faster than... Whoa! <laughs> My fault. My fault. Oh, gee. Whoa. Okay. Don't do that no more. LOL. What if the whole time she didn't know that's what she was doing? What the hell is that up there? Anyway, she like Amano Zago didn't know that's what she was doing, but like. I'm the one who actually has her knowledge. Like Susano found me and that's fine. Like I was a force Nahobino. And then like Amanozaka was actually the person who whose knowledge I had. That'd be funny. I don't think that's the case. It might just be Japanese mythology that Amanozako and Susano are like lovebirds. But I don't know. Yes, let's go. Ooh, let's super go. Ah. <laughs> Go ahead and leave. How dare they fight over the throne without giving a second thought to our Lord's kindness. It is only thanks to his benevolence that they walk this earth without being condemned. <gasps> oh, it's you. Well done on slaying the Demon King. I, I am a Dominion and I serve Bethel headquarters. As the one who slayed the Demon King Ariok, perhaps you can help me with something. As the chief gods of the various regions set their sights on the throne, the Egyptian branch has not made a move yet. The Egyptian branch has no chief god, so perhaps they immediately gave up on pursuing the throne. However, recently there's been talk that the Egyptian branch's leadership has been handed to the young and capable Konshu. They may be forming some manner of scheme. Could I ask you to investigate Konshu and his group? No. Any threats to our Lord's throne cannot be overlooked. I must ask that you slay Konshu. <laughs> If you will do this for us, I will open the leyline fount to their base, Odaiba. Okay. Ah, so you won't shy away from such a daunting task? You certainly have courage enough to, sl to have slain the Demon of Vengeance. Now where is Khonshu? <laughs> then I will leave it to you. I expect to hear a favorable result. 
Little does he know I am not betraying the Egyptians. It didn't even have to come to that point, it's the funny thing. How strong is he? 62. Possible. Not easy, but possible. Let's go ahead and see what your weaknesses are. We're gonna have to get Dominion out of here especially. Mm, ice is a bit tricky. Hmm. We can do this. For sure. It ain't gonna be easy, but we can definitely do this. No, Black Frost isn't even strong enough to touch him. A lot of these demons ain't gonna be strong enough to touch him. See if we can do a status effect on him. No. Okay. Let us use our skills. Watch this. Punch set. This Draco strike should hurt. Uh, Lamu's almighty attack. We need that. Nice. Now we're gonna use Dark Sword. You need to heal yourself. You'll get him next time. Nice. Lowered. And we're gonna buff. Okay, mistakes were made. We're gonna change you. His lord knows we need to. Let's put Tao in. What's the worst that could happen? Let's go. I should probably take Tao out. And now we're going to do one more change. And we're going to put Yoshitsune here. Because at, at this go. point... Hey, look. Like, like real, real talk right now, we are playing for fun. That's my weakness. Oh, he missed. LOL. Surprisingly, we got him halfway done. But I know the writing on the wall, and I'm not really trying to, like, do all this Tom Hmm. There you go. Don't think I would have been able to beat him. But having gotten halfway, I gotta admit, it might have been possible. But the way they do that level skip that level system with damage scaling, it's a lot more trouble than it's worth. So I wasn't really trying to do that much trouble. I'm sensing something. It's that freaky demon lady you fought a while back. Listen, what do you say we get out of here? Like, right now? Ugh, how can you stay so calm at a time like this? Honestly! Oh, you better be careful, all right? I'm serious. Like, extra super mega ultra careful, okay? Under whose legion do you serve? This is King Vasaki's base of operations. 
Until Lord Siva ceases his austerities, the key shall remain ours. Not even a Nahobino can sway us. Listen well. So Bethel triumphs over the King of Chaos, only to quickly collapse and become the very thing it meant to destroy. Does this seem strange to you, or is this simply the natural order of things? Hmm. If you were to ask me, I would say it was inevitable. Order is born from chaos, from whoever claims victory. At which point, the question one should ultimately ask is, who will win? Yes. I will let you think on the answer. Bro, who are you? I know he's a god. I know it. He is some god's Nahobino, if not a god himself. There's no way he's not. He knows too much. He knows too much and is just willing to watch too much. Hmm. Might be the creative god. Okay, I should have known. Ah, the prodigal child himself. Perhaps you could indulge me in a short chat? You needn't worry, I'm alone. You certainly share your humanity with Yakumo. But do you share his beliefs? Do you agree with his aims? No, I don't believe in asking people out. A shame. Then you too cannot see beyond his surface. That man doesn't matter. It's you I have questions for. Which side of this conflict do you stand on? Are you for the humans or the demons? I suppose I side with the humans, but surely a goddess can be partial to her own creations, even if demoted to demonhood. And you aim to seize the throne of creation? Well, as a means to an end, certainly. To take it simply for power's sake would be a touch petty, don't you think? Yakumo and I share a vision. It's why I lend him my power and why I strive to see his world come to fruition. <laughs> Poor Yakumo's zealotry does tend to leave a bad impression. But what nobility in his soul, in his aims. He wa like he wants what's best for humanity. Because the demons do be wilding. Right? They're not all wilding and new is admitting that but he wants what's best for them but the problem is emphasis on best if you're not what's best because you're too weak for example then like he's okay with like you just taking that out and it's like no as far as i can tell he doesn't even trust his fellow man a most shallow appraisal my dear Yakumo loves his fellow man, perhaps more than any other. He rejects humans who have given up, precisely because he believes in humanity's potential for strength. Do you understand, child? I can understand it, but I don't agree. Yes, I rather thought you might. You and he are alike in many ways. Those of the Yakumo family have always been officers of the law, you see would be agents of justice, living to protect the meek. His mother was a medium. She helped those tormented by dark spirits. That would explain things. However, one such sufferer was seduced by a demon's promises and slaughtered Yakumo's entire family. Hate the crime, not the criminal, as they say. But the platitude rings quite hollow when the criminal has no desire, no capacity for redemption. If violence and evil are all they know, all they will ever be, then what can a man of justice do but strike them down? Pretty words have never been enough to save the world. What are you doing, Nua? Ah, oh, here he is. So ends our idle chat then. Farewell. Perhaps the will of mankind is stronger than I knew. Hmm. Oh, that could have been bad, huh? Totally. But you know what? That demon woman? I think she might be in love with that human. 
So she's goals for you? No, wait. Maybe she loves all of humanity, and that man is supposed to be a symbol of it or something. I don't know. Hmm. Either way, it's kind of complicated. But that was love for sure. It's like how I love when you get all upset. <laughs> you know? Just like that. Huh? But I... Yeah, <laughs> never mind. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is Hindu demon territory. Oh, yeah, definitely is. Their leader's supposed to be this demon named Shiva, but I heard this other guy, Vasuki's the one running the show right now. Vasuki's like a big old snake or something, isn't he? Like Yamato no Orochi. Bet you he's a schemer. Never trust a snake, right? Totally. <laughs> No salvation ben befits this world more aptly than destruction. Lord Shiva has spoken thus. Well, we are not working with you then. Yeah. Lord Shiva has begun the rites of conjuring the Rudra Asta Ashtra. And thus, for the moment, King Basuki shall guide us in his stead. Hey, we found the abscess. Okay, so it seems like we gotta find each territory and then that'll probably net us our abscess. Okay, okay, okay. I just feel kind of like, uh, whenever we, or whenever I have to like go around and fight some of these guys, or rather not fight some of these guys. Hmm, and they're kind of weak. I might as well. I'll do it on my next turn. Because I might as well just swap her out. We're going to be okay. What are, you, what are wrong to skills? Wind breath. Okay. Let's go ahead and chain Cybelle out because she uses Samrakar. And so that's gonna take her out for a bit. Your turn. Go. If Queen Mob has Force Block, we'll use it. Okay. Don't ask me how. All right, all right. Now we're in a better position. A very manageable position, mind you. Thanks for the carry, thanks for the carry. Let's try a force block again. Next up, we will be using a Hamo. And she is halfway out. Reflect all mine. So I'll get away with doing that. Let's use another force block. If she uses a physical attack, it is what it is. I have to do the mm, I did not know she'd go for me well then well then 
I, uh, I'm... Nah, you guys can def see me fight her again. But, uh, I will definitely need to get stronger. So, I'll be running around the map, so the map will be a little more clearer next time. Uh, yeah, that's the end of this video. Once again, I'm the Shady Champ, most trustworthy gamer we've got. This has been Shin Megami Tensei. Five, the fifth one. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.